Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 8 of The Sign of Affection. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be serious. Now, you already know, like I said last week, he is ultimately going to tell Emma. And, you know, Emma might... <sighs> um, the one thing is, okay, because as I said last night in this podcast that I did, I I, 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 mm, I despise her and such. There, there's some reasons why. But then at the same time, I do sympathize with her and such. So I think once he does tell Emma, one of two things are going to happen. She's going to revolt like the typical girl and such, or she's going to mature from this moment and she's going to be like, now I know why she was hanging out with him that night. She's a girl who just does not know when the guy is trying to say, hey, I'm not into you. Because, I mean, because like I, like I said, she's also a little teeny tiny bit clingy and such. Um, and I think that's something that she she's trying not to admit herself. But it, it's like secretly she knows like, damn, I need to stop. I need to read the room. Since day one, you need to read the room, babe. And you're not doing that. That's why she had the, he had the book. I love that he's now officially putting two and two together so that once she he sees Emma and be like, hey yo, I got some it to tell you. Well, okay, and I get that, but remember, he's a little more mature and different now.
better. Exactly. So we need someone like you to kind of really calm her down first. I don't know either. It might take her a while. Yeah, because probably he does have a crush on her. But see, my thing, I always thought he was for the other team. But, nah, it's still get it. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You can oh uh uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I mean you never know, Shin. You just have to try.
<laughs> and you got two. I wonder how this is going to go. No. Right then and there is the first time he fell in love with her. He looks so good. Carol, oh my God. Like, ah. Oh. Weakness. Freaking weak. Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah, of course. Fighting over a guy. That's because he's not interested in you, babe. Gotta go. Oh. But she knows you like to listen to music, so just take it. Did you really have to say that to her? Damn, don't be a dick.
and there's the purple. Mm -hmm. See that smile? You made her smile. Ah. Oh. Because he don't want to be with you. Yeah, but now since he's with you, he... But that's him lying to himself. You gotta tell her. Tell her. It, she's going to find out the hard way. That's the biggest issue. And I don't want her to find out the hard way. Aww. <laughs> 
think that's a good idea. Okay. I get it in the moment with Shin and Emma how he's like, I want to tell her, but still he's afraid. But it's either letting her down now or having her find out later and then she instantly goes into depression mode. Think about... Think about yourself in this situation, especially if there is a guy or a girl that you like. And let's say your best friend secretly has a crush on you as well. And you want to tell the person that you have a crush on to tell them your feelings and such. And it gets complicated. We, we went from a love triangle to a love square to like just love squiggly lines. That's where we are right now. This is a roller coaster of emotions right now. And I, I just, I need Shin. To tell her. ASAP. But something tells me. And it's coming soon. She gonna find out. And when Emma finds out. Something tells me Shin is gonna be there to like comfort her. Uh oh. If she does not confess to him next week, oh my god. See, th there's so many things looking at the preview for next week that could mean anything. And I'm, I'm sick of it either. <laughs> I need to know. I need next Saturday to come, like, ASAP. Because, like, Jesus Christ, you cannot literally end the episode the way you did. One, two... Give me a preview like that and expect me to wait a whole week until episode nine. Mm -hmm. Too much. Oh my God. Okay. But the fact is, I love the fact that we finally, because I wanted this like kind of episode, mm, episode one, two, and three, the backstory of the chemistry and the relationship of Shin, Shin Emma, and Itsu. Now that we finally got it and we officially now see how, once again, how the head over, uh, head over heels in love Emma is for him was born and how Shin is also in love with Emma and such and that the fact is what Shin was doing was he was dating any girl with dark haired um, attributes that were maybe not 100% similar to Emma. But just almost like a very almost like a one to one copy dating anyone who was dark haired similar to her because the fact is since he can't have her he's gonna go out and venture to find someone like her but who is it 100% and so you do feel bad for any girl that he did date because he didn't really treat him treat them with the remote the most uh, the utmost respect at the end of the day. Especially, you know, how she comes in while they're all eating. She throws the lunch down, which is one of the horrible things to do is, like, you see someone that you love, obviously in love with someone else, and it's just like, why am I here? You're. It's almost like, you know, she's playing third wheel in this situation and the relationship with them. And even her saying, like, oh, my God, like, you, you're in love with her. Why don't you just go ahead and break up with me and instantly tell her your feelings? And, and Emma's over here. She's not clueless. She's really not. But at the same time, she is about that. But she, you know, because of the fact that she's in love with Itsu so much, it's just like, once again, she can't see if somebody else is in love with her. And, and I get that. I've, I've, I've been like that myself, you know where I have had a crush on someone else and then I don't realize that someone has had a crush on me until it's like way too late and such. And so, I mean, in the end, regardless, everybody gets hurt. I don't want Emma to get hurt, even though like I don't like her and such, but I do feel bad for her and I do sympathize with her and the situations are that are happening to her. I just wish, once again, she would read the room, but there's going to be a moment where, you know, it's definitely going to have her meet Yuki again and be like, oh, hey, my girlfriend. And, and oh, that's going to, uh, that's going to leave a bad mark on her. Like, oh my God, I'm just, I, I'm not ready to even see that because that's going to be really, really emotional for her. And she might just combust, but who knows. 
Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of A Sign of Affection. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 9. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.